नमस्कार आप सभी को सातवें अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योग दिवस की बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं आज जब पूरा विश्व कोरोना महामारी का मुकाबला कर रहा है तो योग उम्मीद की एक किरण भी बना हुआ है दो वर्ष से दुनिया भर के देशों में और भारत में भले ही बड़ा सार्वजनिक कार्यक्रम आयोजित नहीं हुआ हो लेकिन योग दिवस के प्रति उत्साह जरा भी कम नहीं हुआ है कोरोना के बावजूद इस बार की योग दिवस की थीम योगा फॉर वेलनेस ने करोड़ों लोगों में योग के प्रति उत्साह को और भी बढ़ाया है मैं आज योग दिवस पर ये कामना करता हूं कि हर देश हर समाज और हर व्यक्ति स्वस्थ हो सब एक साथ मिलकर एक दूसरे की ताकत बने साथियों हमारे ऋषियों मुनियों ने योग के लिए समत्वम योग उच्चते ये परिभाषा दी थी उन्होंने सुख दुख में समान रहने संयम को एक तरह से योग का पैरामीटर बनाया था आज इस वैश्विक त्रासदी में योग ने इसे साबित करके दिखाया है कोरोना के इन डेढ़ वर्षों में भारत समेत कितने ही देशों ने बड़े संकट का सामना किया है साथियों दुनिया के अधिकांश देशों के लिए योग दिवस को उनका सदियों पुराना सांस्कृतिक पर्व नहीं है इस मुश्किल समय में इतनी परेशानी में लोग इसे आसानी से भूल सकते थे इसकी उपेक्षा कर सकते थे लेकिन इसके विपरीत लोगों में योग का उत्साह और बढ़ा है योग से प्रेम बढ़ा है पिछले डेढ़ सालों में दुनिया के कोने कोने में लाखों नए योग साधक बने हैं योग क्या जो पहला पर्याय संयम और अनुशासन को कहा गया है सब उसे अपने जीवन में उतारने का प्रयास भी कर रहे हैं साथियों जब कोरोना के अदृश्य वायरस से और इस अदृश्य वायरस ने दुनिया में जब दस्तक दी थी तब कोई भी देश साधनों से सामर्थ्य से और मानसिक अवस्था से इसके लिए तैयार नहीं था हम सभी ने देखा है कि ऐसे कठिन समय में योग आत्मबल का एक बड़ा माध्यम बना योग ने लोगों में ये भरोसा बढ़ाया कि हम इस बीमारी से लड़ सकते हैं मैं जब फ्रंटलाइन वॉरियर्स से डॉक्टर से बात करता हूं तो मुझे बताते हैं कि कोरोना के खिलाफ लड़ाई में उन्होंने योग को भी अपना सुरक्षा कवच बनाया डॉक्टरों ने योग से खुद को भी मजबूत किया और अपने मरीजों को 
जल्दी स्वस्थ करने में इसका उपयोग भी किया और आज अस्पतालों से ऐसी कितनी तस्वीरें आती हैं जहां डॉक्टर्स नर्सेस मरीजों को योग सिखा रहे हैं तो कहीं मरीज अपना अनुभव साझा कर रहे हैं प्राणायाम अनुलोम विलोम जैसी ब्रीथिंग एक्सरसाइज हमारे रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम को कितनी ताकत मिलती है ये भी दुनिया के विशेषज्ञ खुद बता रहे हैं साथियों महान तमिल संत श्री थिरुवल्लुवर जी ने कहा नोई नाड़ी नोई मुद्दल नाड़ी हदु तनिकुम वाय नाड़ी वाय पच्चयल अर्थात अगर कोई बीमारी है तो उसे डायग्नाइज करो उसकी जड़ तक जाओ बीमारी की वजह क्या है ये पता करो फिर उसका इलाज सुनिश्चित करो योग यही रास्ता दिखाता है आज मेडिकल साइंस भी उपचार के साथ साथ हीलिंग पर भी उतना ही बल देता है और योग हीलिंग प्रोसेस में उपकारक है मुझे संतोष है कि आज योग के इस पहलू पर दुनिया भर में के विशेषज्ञ अनेक प्रकार के साइंटिफिक रिसर्च भी कर रहे हैं उस पर काम कर रहे हैं साथियों कोरोना काल में योग से हमारे शरीर को होने वाले फायदों पर हमारी इम्यूनिटी पर पड़ने वाले सकारात्मक प्रभावों पर कई स्टडीज हो रही है आजकल हम देखते हैं कई स्कूलों में ऑनलाइन क्लासेस की शुरुआत में 10-15 मिनट बच्चों को योग प्राणायाम कराया जा रहा है ये कोरोना से मुकाबले के लिए भी बच्चों की शारीरिक रूप में तैयारी कर रहा है साथियों भारत के ऋषियों ने हमें सिखाया है व्यायामात लभते स्वास्थ्य दीर्घ आयुषम बलम सुखम आरोग्यम परमम भाग्यम स्वास्थ्यम सर्वार्थ साधनम अर्थात योग व्यायाम से हमें अच्छा स्वास्थ्य मिलता है सामर्थ्य मिलता है और लंबा सुखी जीवन मिलता है हमारे लिए स्वास्थ्य ही सबसे बड़ा भाग्य है और अच्छा स्वास्थ्य ही सभी सफलताओं का माध्यम है भारत के ऋषियों ने भारत ने जब भी स्वास्थ्य की बात की है तो इसका मतलब केवल केवल शारीरिक स्वास्थ्य नहीं रहा है इसलिए योग में फिजिकल हेल्थ के साथ साथ मेंटल हेल्थ पर इतना जोर दिया गया है जब हम प्राणायाम करते हैं ध्यान करते हैं दूसरी योगिक क्रियाएं करते हैं तो हम अपनी अंतर चेतना को अनुभव करते हैं योग से हमें ये अनुभव होता है कि हमारी विचार शक्ति हमारा आंतरिक सामर्थ्य इतना ज्यादा है कि दुनिया की कोई परेशानी कोई भी नेगेटिविटी हमें तोड़ नहीं सकती 
योग हमें स्ट्रेस से स्ट्रेंथ की ओर और नेगेटिविटी से क्रिएटिविटी का रास्ता दिखाता है योग हमें अवसाद से उमंग और प्रमाद से प्रसाद तक ले जाता है फ्रेंड्स योगा टेल्स अस दैट सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम माइट बी आउट देर बट वी हैव इन्फिनिट सॉल्यूशन विद इन अवर सेल्फ वी आर द बिगेस्ट सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इन अवर यूनिवर्स we do not realize this energy because of the many divisions that exist at times the lives of people exist in silos the divisions reflect in the overall personality as well the shift from silo to union is yoga a proven way to experience a realization of oneness e yoga i am reminded of the words of the great gurudev tagore who said and i quote the meaning of our self is not to be found in its separateness from god and others but in the ceaseless realization of yoga of union unquote the mantra of vasudev kutumkam which india has followed since ages is now finding global acceptance we all are praying for each other's well being if there are threats to humanity yoga often gives us a way of holistic health yoga also gives us a happier way of life i'm sure yoga will continue playing its preventive as well as positive role in health care of masses sathiyo जब भारत ने यूनाइटेड नेशंस में अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योग दिवस का प्रस्ताव रखा था तो उसके पीछे यही भावना थी कि योग विज्ञान पूरे विश्व के लिए सुलभ हो आज इस दिशा में भारत ने यूनाइटेड नेशंस डब्ल्यूएचओ के साथ मिलकर एक और महत्वपूर्ण कदम उठाया है अब विश्व को एम योगा एम योगा ऐप की शक्ति मिलने जा रही है इस ऐप में कॉमन योगा प्रोटोकॉल के आधार पर योग प्रशिक्षण के कई वीडियोस दुनिया की अलग अलग भाषाओं में उपलब्ध होंगे ये आधुनिक टेक्नोलॉजी और प्राचीन विज्ञान के फ्यूजन का भी एक बेहतरीन उदाहरण है मुझे पूरा विश्वास है एम योगा ऐप योग का विस्तार दुनिया भर में करने और वन वर्ल्ड वन हेल्थ के प्रयासों को सफल बनाने में बड़ी भूमिका निभाएगा साथियों गीता में कहा गया है तम विद्या दुख संयोग वियोगम योग संगीतम अर्थात दुखों से वियोग को मुक्ति को ही योग कहते हैं सबको साथ लेकर चलने वाली मानवता की ये योग यात्रा हमें ऐसे ही अनवरत आगे बढ़ा दी है चाहे कोई भी स्थान हो कोई भी परिस्थिति हो कोई भी आयु हो हर एक के लिए योग के पास कोई न कोई समाधान जरूर है आज विश्व में 
योग के प्रति जिज्ञासा रखने वालों की संख्या बहुत बढ़ रही है देश विदेश में योग प्रतिष्ठानों की संख्या में भी वृद्धि हो रही है ऐसे में योग का जो मूलभूत तत्व ज्ञान है मूलभूत सिद्धांत है उसको कायम रखते हुए योग जन जन तक पहुंचे अविरत पहुंचे निरंतर पहुंचे ये कार्य आवश्यक है और ये कार्य योग से जुड़े लोगों को योग के आचार्यों को योग के प्रचारकों को साथ मिलकर करना चाहिए हमें खुद भी योग का संकल्प लेना है और अपनों को भी इस संकल्प से जोड़ना है योग से सहयोग तक का ये मंत्र हमें एक नए भविष्य का मार्ग दिखाएगा मानवता को सशक्त करेगा इन्हीं शुभकामनाओं के साथ आज अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योग दिवस पर पूरी मानव जात को आप सभी को बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद extremely sorry for the technical error i now invite consul general dr shashank vikram for his welcome remarks नमस्कार ऑनरेबल सिस्टर बी के शिवानी जी डिस्टिंग्विश्ड गेस्ट लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योग दिवस की आप सभी को हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं आई एम एक्सट्रीमली डिलाइटेड टू वेलकम यू ऑल एट द सेवेंथ इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ योगा एंड थैंक यू थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस वर्चुअली टूडे सिमिलर टू लास्ट ईयर due to covid restrictions we are celebrating this occasion on virtual platforms however covid has not diminished our enthusiasm or reach rather it has made yoga even more popular in this difficult times yoga and ayurveda have helped millions by strengthening their immunity and mental strength the theme of international day of yoga event this year is yoga for wellness a motto aligned to the current preoccupations honorable prime minister of india shri narendra modi ji whose uh, speech you just heard said that international day of yoga is a day of unity and gives the message of universal brotherhood he said and i quote the mantra of vasudev kutumbakam which india has followed since ages is now finding global acceptance if there are threats to humanity yoga often gives us way holistic health on also on this occasion honorable prime minister launched an app which is called m yoga app this app has yogic exercises in different languages which people now across the world can practice i would like to request you to download this app from the google play store now the yoga protocols which will be demonstrated today will be on our social media platforms and you can inculcate it every day in your life i would like to thank all the yoga organizations for their initiatives and support 
in hosting various yoga events across Midlands and North of England. When the proposal for Yoga Day was presented in the United Nations, it set a record as the first such motion that was co-sponsored by maximum number of countries in the world. And this was also first such proposal in the history of United Nations, which was approved in the least time. And today, every citizen of the world, every country of the world celebrates yoga. And it is a matter of great pride for the people of India that this great inheritance of mankind was born and is rooted in India. We have received messages of greetings on this special occasion from a number of dignitaries like the internationally acclaimed Yog Rishi, Swami Baba Ramdev Ji, and renowned yogi and speaker, Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev Ji. We express our deepest gratitude for their very kind messages. Thank you so much. Uh, from UK, we are honored to have greetings from Lord Mayor of Liverpool, Councillor Mary Rasmussen, and the Chair of Coventry City of Culture, Mr. David Burbridge. Today, we have an special privilege that Sister B.K. Shivani of Brahma Kumaris is our guest of honor. She is a renowned Raj Yoga practitioner, and her illuminating lectures and quotes on stress-free living are truly inspiring. I look forward to listening more from you a move from her and also to, uh, it's an opportunity for, our, for all of us to practice yoga with her. Thank you so much. And without further ado, I now look forward to listening to our dignitaries. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Ek bar fer, aap sabhi ko antarashri yoga divas ki bahut bahut hardik shubham. Thank you, sir. We are privileged to have with us Brahma Kumari Shivani. Sister Shivani is an electronics engineer from Pune University. She has been a practitioner of Raj Yoga meditation of the Brahma Kumaris for over 22 years. Her practical application of spiritual principles on the TV program Awakening with Brahma Kumaris for over 13 years has empowered people to overcome issues of emotional distress depression, and relationship conflicts. In March 2019, she was awarded the prestigious Nari Shakti Puraskar, the highest civilian honor for women in India for her role in transforming human behaviors and has been appointed as Goodwill Ambassador by the World Psychiatrist Association. Over to Sister Shivani for her speech and Raj Yoga session. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Yoga, the word itself means connection. So when there's a connection, there will always be two things between which the connection will be there. So yoga, that I the being, I, the energy, which is master of this body, am connected to. So we are connected through the power of our energy and our vibrations. So just visualize here in the center of the forehead, a tiny point of light. It's a little energy center here where we think, we feel, we take decisions, and then from here, we come into action by giving an instruction to the brain and the body. So just visualize a tiny spark point of light here. This is the being. So we are called human beings. So human is humus, matter, out of which the body is made. And being is this energy. This energy creates 
almost 65 to 75,000 thoughts every single day. And every thought is a vibration. Each thought creates a feeling. So the first connection or the first yoga is between the thought and the feeling. So our feelings are created based on our thoughts. So our mental health gets impacted by this first yoga. The yoga, the connection between the thoughts and the feelings. Second is every thought we create radiates to our body. And that's why when there's stress here or anxiety here, we can feel the symptoms of it in our body. Emotional blockages held for very long, not able to forgive, not able to forget the past, holding on to any hurt, hatred or resentment, it radiates that vibration to the body. Panic, fear, over a period of time, radiates that vibration to the body. So every thought we create is energy. It's not going to stay here. It radiates to the body. So the second yoga or the connection is between this energy and the body. So physical health gets affected by the kind of thoughts we create. The third yoga, every thought we create for people, it reaches whom we are thinking about. It's a vibration. It reaches whom we are thinking about. So the third connection is our relationships. Our relationships. Because our vibrations reach people before we message them or we talk to them or we meet them. And the third yoga is our vibrations influencing environment. Because our energy vibrates into the air. The air, the water, the plants, nature, everything gets influenced by our energy. So that is the fourth yoga environmental health. So mental health, physical health, social health, and environmental health. Everything is getting influenced by this yoga, the connection here. And all four need something to be changed. Mental health issues need to be addressed. Physical health needs to be better than what it is right now. Relationships need to be stronger. And environment, we know where it's heading. So for these four yoga, the four connections to be right, the mind has to create healthy thoughts, right thoughts. If we create stress, anxiety, anger, fear, jealousy, criticism, comparison, competition, hurt, expectations, if we create these kind of thoughts and emotions and we believe they are normal and we continue creating them, then all these four connections get affected because we are creating and radiating lower vibrational energy. So the fifth yoga, by which the quality of these thoughts can change, the fifth yoga is connection with the divine, connection with the supreme power. And that is called Raj Yoga. Raj means the highest. Raj means which will make us the master over our mind and our sense organs. So Raj Yoga means the connection between either being, the soul, the consciousness, the spirit, with the supreme power. That is Raj Yoga meditation. And when the being gets connected with the divine power, the ocean of love, the ocean of peace, the ocean of purity, that connection starts energizing the soul. The quality of our thoughts change and we shift from stress to calm and stability, from anger to compassion and respect, from complaining to gratitude, from worry to care, from expectations to acceptance, from jealousy to being happy for others, from competition to cooperation, caring, sharing, kindness, cooperation. And this is our nature. All of us are compassionate, stable, calm, happy, peaceful. But sometimes, and most of the time, we go to the other list, which is disturbing negative emotions. Now what we need to do is shift. Shift from these emotional illnesses to these normal, healthy emotions, which we know are right, which we do use, but we need to use them most of the time. And so often we find ourselves saying, 
I know I should be happy for people. What do I do? I'm jealous when they do better than me. I know I should not get angry, but at that moment I was not able to stop myself. I know I should not worry, but what to do? It's something that my mind just continues doing, overthinking. So we have the knowledge, the wisdom of what is right, what is not, but we need the power to be able to implement it. And so that power is Raj Yoga meditation, the connection with the supreme power. And when we start meditating on a daily basis, we shift to creating a meditative lifestyle. Yoga is not something we do one day. We all know that. But yoga is also not something we do for an hour daily. Yoga is a way of living, a yogi lifestyle. What is a yogi lifestyle? It's not about what we wear or where we live. Yogi lifestyle, living at home, doing our jobs, our businesses, taking care of our family, leading a yogi lifestyle. And a yogi lifestyle means a high vibrational lifestyle, which means using all these emotions, which are pure emotions, high vibrational emotion. Complaining is a low energy. Gratitude is a high energy. Criticizing people, low energy. Appreciation, motivating, high energy. So yogi lifestyle is a high vibrational lifestyle. And so we need to shift to a high vibrational lifestyle because since the last one year with COVID, we said fear and anxiety is normal. And when we allow fear and anxiety to be normal for so many months, then it doesn't remain just fear and anxiety. And so many of us have even experienced mental health issues in this one year. So depression, panic attacks, anxiety disorders increased this one year. Why did that happen? It had nothing to do with COVID. COVID was only a physical health issue. It's because we were not taking care of our emotional health and which means these right emotions. So taking care of our emotional health is priority now. Priority now. And so meditation and a meditative lifestyle. A meditative lifestyle means first thing, early to bed and early to rise. Very, very healthy for the mind and for the body because our energizing happens during our sleep. So we need to sleep at the right time in the right way. At least an hour before we sleep, we need to disconnect from work communication. And we just need to disconnect from content and media of the world, which means the world news, social media handles, or any kind of entertainment, which is very stimulating for the mind, which means it takes the mind into the active beta stage, whereas the mind just before sleeping has to go into the alpha, slow down stage, slow down stage. So yoga nidra, which means our sleep also needs to be like meditation. Sleep is very important. It will be like a meditation if we slow down our mind and bring it to the alpha stage before we go to sleep then we will need less sleep and we will wake up early in a very vibrant, fresh, energetic state. So at least an hour before we sleep and ideally we need to go to sleep by 9, 30, 10. Latest by 10, we should be asleep. And so by 8, 39, we should disconnect from work emails, messages, media, social media handles, all kinds of content. Spend the last hour for yourself, a good book, good music, spending time with family, anything you like doing, which is going to bring your mind to the alpha stage. That is something of priority. Then just before sleeping, meditate for a few minutes. Write a daily journal. Release any emotion that was created during the day. Counsel yourself. Write positive thoughts to yourself like you would say to somebody else. You would say to somebody, don't worry. It's all going to be fine. It's not such a big thing. Write it out to yourself so that the mind starts changing its way of thinking. It's very important for the mind to release all its disturbances before we go to sleep, so that it's deep sleep, less sleep, and powerful sleep. And at least 10 minutes before we sleep, we need to study some very powerful, pure content, because that is going to be the nourishment for the mind during the sleep. What we watch, read, listen. What we watch, read, listen is our emotional diet. And so for a yogi, the diet needs to be right. 
And diet means five things. What we watch, what we read, what we listen, what we eat, what we drink. All five need to be high vibrational for the mind to be high vibrational. If I put low vibrational things into my system, my vibration will go down. So what we watch, read, listen is our emotional diet. So before going to sleep, at least 10 minutes, a healthy emotional diet. So spiritual content or a self-transformation book or a positive audio video, whatever we like, 10 minutes before we go to sleep. And then our sleep will be very deep and then we will wake up very early, energetic. So a yogi wakes up early because they sleep early. The best time we, we need to wake up, we should be awake between 4 and 5 a.m. Between 4 and 5 a.m. 4 a.m. is called Brahma Mahurat, Amrit Vela. It's a high vibrational time. So we need to make use of that time to energize our mind and body. So the first thing when we wake up is meditation. And second is spiritual study. At least 20 to 30 minutes of, again, a high nutritional diet for the mind. And then the physical, which means the yoga, pranayam. So taking care of the mind and the body, the soul and the body. Just taking care of the body is not complete yoga and it's not complete wellness. Because I may take care of the body daily, but if I don't take care of the mind, it's not complete wellness. So taking care of these two times, the thoughts we create, the content we consume, just before sleeping and immediately when we wake up, these two times can change the way we think and feel. And that will change mental health, physical health, relationships, and environment. And so that is Raj Yoga Meditation. And a yogi's diet, physical diet, will be focused on nutrition, but will also be focused on vibration of the food. Because what we eat is what we become. So experimenting with a plant-based diet, and the diet food should be cooked in a very calm state of mind because the vibration of the food will affect everyone who will eat. So a plant-based diet cooked in a very peaceful state of mind, eaten without any technology around us, which means no phones, no TV. And just before we eat, we pause for a few seconds, meditate, slow down and calm our mind, and then have our food. Food cannot be eaten in a hushed, hush, rush, rush state or talking or chatting or business conversations or television and phones. If we do that, then that diet will not work out right for us because the emotions that are getting created while eating would not be the right emotion. And so yogi lifestyle is a very, very simple lifestyle. Very simple. Each one of us can do it. And it's a lifestyle which will shift us back to a high vibrational state of mind and a healthy body. So just for a few seconds, let's create a few high vibrational thoughts. And these thoughts, as we create them, they will create our feelings. They will create healing energy to the body. And they will also radiate to people and to the world. So visualizing yourself here in the center of the forehead. I am a peaceful being. Feel your energy. I am a peaceful being. I am calm and stable always. Whatever may be the situation, however may be people's behavior, I am a peaceful being. Calm and stable always. The supreme power, the ocean of peace, I'm filled with their vibrations of peace and power. 
and it creates a divine circle of protection around me. I create peace. I experience peace. And I radiate peace. To my body. To people. And to the world. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Shivani, for those inspiring and motivating words. Moving on, let's listen to Lord Mayor of Liverpool, Councillor Mary Rasmussen's message on this occasion. I, Lord Mayor of Liverpool, Councillor Mary Rasmussen, would like to congratulate Consulate General of India, Birmingham, for organising the 7th International Day of Yoga. Recognising the universal benefits of yoga on the 11th of December 2014, the United Nations proclaimed the 21st of June as the International Day of Yoga. This day aims to raise awareness worldwide of the many benefits of practicing yoga. The draft resolution establishing the International Day of Yoga was proposed by India and endorsed by a record 175 member states. The message of yoga in promoting both the physical and mental well-being of humanity has never been more relevant. A growing trend of people around the world embracing yoga to stay healthy and rejuvenated and to fight social isolation and depression has been witnessed during this pandem pandemic. Yoga is also playing a significant role in the psychosocial care and rehabilitation of COVID-19 patients in quarantine and isolation. It is particularly helpful in allaying their fears and anxiety. But yoga is more than a physical activity. In the words of one of its most famous practitioners, Yoga cultivates the ways of maintaining a balanced attitude in day-to-day -day life and endows skill in the performance of one's actions, especially in this pandemic-stricken world. Yoga is the ideal way for relaxation of the mind and the body. Happy International Day of Yoga. Thank you, Madam, for your kind words. 
And now over to the chairman of Coventry City of Culture, Dr. David Burbage for a few words during the celebration. Hello, I'm David Burbage. I'm the chairman of the Coventry City of Culture Trust. I'm delighted and honoured to have been invited by the Consul General to speak to you today. The International Day of Yoga has been celebrated annually on the 21st of June since 2015, following its inception in the United Nations General Assembly in 2014. Yoga is a physical, mental, spiritual practice which originated in India and is now widely celebrated across the world. Yoga is a trend that has been flourishing for years and has become a trendsetter in maintaining both physical and mental well-being. Each yogic activity is a key to improving flexibility, strength, balance and attaining harmony. I hope you'll have seen that we started our year last Saturday in Coventry and the BBC did a wonderful programme recording those events. So the year is very much underway and during the next ones, the 12 months the city will come to life with a range of events which will run right the way through until May next year. The programme will explore Coventry's past and present and consider what the future of the city might be. The programme will show the world that Coventry is a resilient, innovative and diverse city. During the pandemic, there is still a huge programme taking place with many tickets already on sale, with more events to be added. And details can be found on our website. Some of the programme highlights include the following. Coventry Welcomes which will this year will be bigger than ever. From the 14th to the 20th of June, the festival will feature a range of events exploring the lives of those seeking sanctuary and newly arrived in Coventry. This year's festival includes music, dance, comedy and workshops, and is a mixture of online and in-person activities. In July, we will open the Assembly Festival Garden. This space will include a huge Spiegel tent and a smaller performance space, as well as food and drink from local suppliers. There will be a wide range of events taking place there, and we've just announced two shows which are on sale now. Sir Columbia, a dazzling circus show, and Choir of Man, a joyous musical show for all ages. On Saturday, September the 11th, Faith, a co-production with the Royal Shakespeare Company, will take over the city. This event is a 24-hour experience exploring what keeps us going in tough times. Through music, theatre and installation, an epic story will unfold. We've been working with faith leaders across the city to create this event and hope it will be a moment for all faiths and all those who are non-religious too, to come together. We recently closed a call out to South Asian creatives across the city as part of our Abundance project. The 10 successful local artists will be developing ideas to be included in this year's Carnival of Lights, a Diwali inspired event taking place in the autumn of this year. So that's just a, a taste of things that will be happening. Uh, there are many, many, many other events that will take place during the year, which I'm sure will interest many of you. And again, I just say before, we'd encourage you to look at our website and do please uh, sign on to our newsletter because that will keep you continuously informed. But just really in conclusion, thanks again to the Consul General for inviting me to talk to you. Um, and I really hope you have a wonderful, wonderful session yoga session today it's a great thing that you're doing um, 
uh, this international event. And I wish you well, and I do hope that you'll include Coventry <laughs> in your event planning uh, over the next 12 months. So thank you very much and good luck for the session today. Thanks. Thank you, Dr. Burbage. It's a delight to have Dr. Dheeraj Prakash Joshi for the virtual presentation of the yoga protocol. Dr. Joshi, the former yoga teacher at the consulate in Birmingham, is currently the head of department of Sanskrit, JRN Rajasthan Vidya Peet University, Udaipur, Rajasthan. Over to Dr. Joshi. Yes, sir. Good morning and Shukravadam. I'm delighted to be here on this great occasion of the seventh International Day of Yoga. For next 30 minutes, I will be with you and we will practice some simple, basic yoga practices. And I hope you will enjoy the entire session of 30 minutes. Just be with yourself and be with your practice. So please be seated and we will start with the prayer. Then we will practice some basic postures of the yogic system. So please have a seat. So we can start this session. Now, you can take and meditative posture. Keep your spine straight. Just keep your spine straight. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your spine straight. Now put your both hands in the Namaskar In the front of your chest, keep your eyes closed. Keep smile on the face. Breathe in. And deeply breathe out with the mouth. Just connect yourself with the breath. So breathe in with the nostrils. Then again, consciously breathe out with the mouth. Again, breathe in with the nostrils. Again, breathe out with the mouth. Breathe in that breath. Sahena Babatu Sahena Bunaktu Sahavidam Kareva Vahi Pajas Vida Abuti Tamastu Mavit Vishavahi Shanti 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 Thank you. Now, you can release the posture and now please stand up on your mat for the practice. So please come to the center of your mat. Please come to the center of your mat. Now put your heels and toes together. Both hands will be by the side of your body. The spine will be straight and just focus on the point in the front of your eyes. Elbows straight, fingers together, body straight and focused. Now first practice will be neck rotation. It's called a Primo Mudra. So just the spine will be straight during the entire practice and shoulders will be stable. Breathe in at the center. And with exhalation, slowly, slowly turn your neck towards the left shoulder. With exhalation. Complete twist your neck towards the left shoulder. Then hold on last point. The shoulders will be stable. Just hold on last point where you are. You can keep your eyes closed if you are comfortable. Then. Again, breathe in center, slowly, slowly come to the center. Breathe out and right. Slowly, slowly turn your neck 
towards the right shoulder. The chest and shoulders will be stiff. Chest turn towards the right shoulder. Then hold the last point where you are. You can keep your eyes closed. Just connect yourself with the body movements. Just breathe in center. Again, breathe out and loud. Deeply and completely breathe out. Very nice. Hold on, last point. Now breathe in. Again, come into the same job. And with exhalation, slowly turn your neck towards the right. Just hold on, last point. Towards the right shoulder. Keep your spine straight. Be focused. Be away. Again, breathe in the same job. Now breathe out and slowly to bend your neck towards the left shoulder. So try to cut the left here to left shoulder. The declaration. Very nice. Hold on, last part. Don't lift the shoulders upward side. Shoulders will be stable. Just turn your neck. Now breathe in center. Breathe out and right. Bend your neck towards the right shoulder. Then try to cut the right here to the right shoulder. Very nice. Hold on, last part. Keep your spine spread. Be comfortable. Just maintain your breathe in center. One more round towards the left. So come down towards the left. Complete jump. Very nice. Try to touch the left hip to the left shoulder or on last point where you are. Don't force your body. Practice credit to your capacity. Now breathe in center. Again, breathe out and right. Excellent. Breathe in center. Now breathe out and down. So try to touch the chin on the chest reason. Then you can gaze on the tip of your nose. So it's called Nasa Kutushti. Breathe in, come up. Then slowly, slowly turn your neck in the back. Then you can gaze on the nose. And hold down. Shoulders will be stable, spine will be straight. Just hold down. Breathe in. Then hold down. On the breath here. Breathe out and come down with exhalation. Again, breathe in, then come up. Then complete back. Then hold the last point where you are. Frankly, breathe out in Kadya. Then neck rotation. So breathe in with left rotation. So come into the center in the back. Then with exhalation, here pause for a few seconds. Then with exhalation, so it should come down towards the right rotation. Complete down. Again, breathe in with right. Come into the center and exhalation, turn down towards the left rotation. When more down, breathe in with left. Center, then breathe out with right. Come down. When more down with the right rotation, so breathe in with right. Then breathe out with left. Then please come to the center. Now the next practice will be shoulder rotation. So both hands, shoulder pillow, palms facing diamond side. Now turn your both palms up to side, then place your both hands on your shoulders. Very nice. Now breathe in, then stretch your both elbows and shoulders in the back. Then with exhalation, we will clockwise rotation. So upward to downward side. First, tap your both elbows in the front of your chest. Breathe in, come to the back, stretch in the back, then breathe out. Breathe in, then breathe out. Consciously breathe in, then breathe out. Again, stretch in the back. Breathe out. Complete stretch. Give a complete stretch at the back. Then try to tap your both elbows in the front of your chest. Breathe in. Then breathe out. One more round. Breathe in. Stretch in the back. Then breathe out. Very nice. Breathe in. Now, anti clockwise rotation. So upward to downward side. Breathe in here. Breathe out. And tap your both elbows in the front. Very nice. Breathe in. Complete stretch in the back. Then breathe out. Breathe in. Consciously breathe in, then breathe out. Very nice. Center. Again, stretch your both hands. Come. Downward move, then breathe out. Stretch your body. Then, next practice. Now, open your both legs. Heels and toes on the same distance. Next practice will be trunk rotation. Vakshas of the Vikasa So, both hands are straight, palms facing each other, elbows will be straight, and fingers together. 
tails and toes on the sandal stacks. During this practice, we will cover the lower part of the body. So you can tie your thigh muscles, calf muscles, and knees. So we will cover the lower part, we use the upper part, and we move left and right with that solution. So central breathing. First, breathe out and twist the upper part of your body in the back. Twist the back. Gaze on the back hand. Breathe in center. Breathe out and right. Breathe in center. Breathe out and left. Back to position. Breathe in center. Then right. Then start with 20. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Gaze on the back hand with acceleration. Very nice. Control the lower part of your body and move from upper part and just gaze on the back hand. Back hand will make sure the pallor, fingers together with activation. Just continue the practice. Four, three, two, and one. Center, then knees. Also great. One round of the deep breath. Close your eyes. Just breathe in. Then consciously breathe out. Keep smile on the face during the relaxation. Now put your bum legs together. Pop heads by the side of the body. It's called Samasthiti. So we always start all the practices in Samasthiti. Hills and toes together. Spine straight. Fingers together. Now, the first practice will be Tadasana. So be ready for the Tadasana. Now, first, place your both hands shoulder pillow. Turn upward side. Breathe in. Then upward side. Now, make a finger lock with your both hands. Then turn the upward side. Now, from here, you can give a two inches gap between your both toes to balance your breathe in. Then slowly, slowly come on the toes. Lift your hands upward side. Concentrate on the front, on a point in the front of your eyes. That point should be parallel to your eyes. Just hold here. We are practicing Tadasana. Just hold for a few seconds. Maintain. Now you can stretch the pelvic region, your shoulders, elbows, and heads upward side. But don't make a curve in your back, in your spine. Just concentrate in the front of your eyes. Maintain here with normal breath. Three, two, one. Release. First, hands on the ground. Now, loosen your elbows. Release your finger lock. Stretch your both hands upper side. Breathe in. Then both hands shoulder parallel. Downward move. Breathe out. Stretch your body. Relax your body. One round of the deep breath. Just breathe in. Concentrate on breath. Keep your breath out. Again, put your both legs together. Both hands by the side of the body. Keep your spine straight, body straight and focused. Now be ready for the next practice. Next practice will be Padhas Pasana, forward bending question. But those who are suffering from severe back pain, severe lower back pain, they can avoid it and they will practice very carefully. So be ready for the forward bending. Now, heels and toes together. Now place your both hands on the thighs. Slowly, slowly raise your both hands upward side. Stretch upward side first. Then from here, slowly, slowly come down. First, hold on 90 degree. Just hold here. Just maintain. Gaze in the front. Leave it without. Again, come down. Then try to put your both hands on the mat. Gaze in the front. Just gaze in the front. Those who are suffering from survival, and lower back pain, they will gaze in the front, they, they will maintain you, be comfortable here, loosen your back and abdomen, keep your knees straight, breathing deeply, then leave the breath out and completely come down. Then try to touch your forehead on the knees if you can. Then hold your thumb of breath. We are practicing Father Haspasara, forward bending posture, excellent posture in the forward bending posture series. Where we we'll practice for the knee joints, step joints, abdomen. Just for very nice. Three, two, one. Release. First, gaze in the front. Release your both hands. Stretch your both hands. Breathe in. First, 90 degree. Then breathe in and come up. Stretch up the side. Then breathe out and down. Stretch your body. Then relax in. Shithil Tarasana. Come up. Breathe in. And if you breathe out, now put your both legs together again. Both hands by the side of the body. Next practice will be backward bending question. The counterpose of the 
path is thus enough. So open your both legs, shut up gap between your both heels and toes, silts and toes on the same respects. Next practice, half wheel question, all the chakras. So place your both hands here on your legs like this. Then turn your elbows in the back to support your back. Now stretch the pelvic region and chest region of the side. From here, breathe in and slowly, slowly come back. Come back, come back. Keep your knees straight, not bend on the knees. Support your back with your hands. Then for your last part. You can keep your eyes open. Just hold here. Very nice. Hold on last part. Very good practice for the lower back pain. Hold here with normal breath. Half will posture. Three, two, one. Breathing. Again, come into the center. Stretch your body, release your both hands, put your both legs together, stretch your body. Then relax in Chitpanasana. Only one round of the deep breath. So breathe in deeply. Then deeply breathe out. Again, put your both legs together, both hands by the side of the body. Now open your both legs. For the Trikonasana. So there will be a gap of three to four bits between your both legs. Both legs in a parallel line. Heels. Turn your toes inside. Keep your knees straight. And tighten your five muscles and top muscles. Both hands in the center. Now raise your both hands, shoulder pillow first. Then turn your palms in the front. Very nice. Now shift the left toe out. So left heel, then toe. Straight towards the left. Stretch your body in the front. Stretch your body. Don't bend your body like that. Spread in the front. Breathe in here. Then with the exhalation slowly, slowly come down towards the left. Very nice. You can take the support with the left hand, then gaze on the upper hand, just by taking your thumb breath. We are practicing three corners, thank you folks. Excellent posture for the high knee joints, hip joints, and for the kidneys. Now, really come to the center. Now, heel and toe inside. Same practice with the other side. So shift the right heel, then right toe. Again, body in the front, breathing in the center. And with the exhalation, slowly sort of come down towards the right. Then he's on the upper hand. And goes to be straight. Bring this together. Knees to be straight. Breathing with the normal. Eyes open. And complete concentration on the center, middle finger of the left hand. Normal breath. Three, two, one. Please breathe. Come to the center. Now shift the right toe inside. Palms downward side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Jump and set jump. Don't forget. Breathe in. Then we can breathe out. Now put your both legs together. Again, the next practice. The next practice will be three boots. Balancing posture. So be careful. You can touch your back to the wall as well if you are unable to balance. So be comfortable. Samastiti. Now, first, lift the right leg upper side. Then try to place into the loop of your left thigh. If you can, if you can't, then you can place on the knee or toe, which is comfortable for you. Concentrate on the point in the front of your eyes. Both hands in the center. Now both hands shoulder pillow, turn upper side. Breathe in. Then Namaskar Mudra upper side. Then just hold here with thumb. Complete concentration. Just try to concentrate on the point in the front of your eyes. Then you concentrate on the point, then you will be able to balance here. Very good practice to improve your concentration. To reduce the fluctuation of your mind. Be comfortable. Maintain your stretch of your side. Then let's just talk. Three, two, one. Release. Potential pillar down the boot. Breathe out. Release the right leg. The same practice with the other side. So be comfortable. Concentrate again on the same point. Lift the left leg. Again, place it to the of your right. Both hands in the center. Potential pillar. Turn up your side. Breathe in. Then Namaskar with the upper side and just hold here. Both biceps just nearby the ears. Don't stretch in the back and front. Just parallel to your ears. Just to stretch up the side. The spine will be straight. Breathing normal. Just hold. Brick chest it up. Hold. Three, two, one. Please. Both in shoulder pillow, down the move, breathe out. Release the left leg. Stretch. Then one round of the deep breath. Close your eyes. Keep smiling, breathing. Keep it breathing out. Again, put your both legs together, both legs by the side of the body. Now, open your both legs. 
Now, next practice will be Ut Katasana. So, both hands shoulder pedal, palms facing downward side, breathe in. Then, please come on the toes, lift your hands upward side, breathe out and come down like a chair. Just hold here. Very good and excellent posture for the top of six knees, F joints and thighs. Hold it. Three, two, one, please. Breathe in, come up. Breathe out and place your both hands on the thighs. Stretch your body. Then please sit down on your mat. Please sit down on your mat. First, in the Dandasana. Then relaxation in the Dandasana. Loosen your back. Keep your eyes closed. Spread out of the deep breath. Breathe in. Then deep breath out. Now put your both legs together. Come into the Dandasana. Keep your spine straight. The next practice will be Bhattasana. Butterfly posture. So be ready for the butterfly. Open your both legs first. Now place your both soul together like this. Make a finger lock with your both hands. Catch your toes. Then stretch. And try to touch your heels to the hip joints. So stretch towards the hip joints. Keep your spine straight. Shift your body weight to the hip joints. Just right here. Now from here, you can give slight movements in your knees. And with these movements, just try to touch your mat. So your force will be downward side. Keep your spine straight. Keep smile on the face. Breathe down more. Push your knees towards the mat. Then hold again. Finally hold here on last point. Very nice. Then release. Use your finger lock. Stretch your butt, legs and come to the Dandasana. Next practice. Please come to the Dandasana. So hold the right. Then left. Very nice. Comfortable. Now, with Dandasana. Heels, knees together. Hey, both big toes together, buttocks between your hips. Now, the next practice will be, next practice will be camel toes, half camel toes. So please stand up on your knees. Please stand up on your knees. Please stand up on your knees, comfortable. Then open your both knees. There will be shoulder bell gap between your both knees, hips and toes. Now, again, place your both hands on your waist to support your back, fingers in the front, Thumbs in the back. Turn your elbows in the back to support your back. Again, stretch the pelvic region and chest region upper side. From here, with inhalation, slowly, slowly come back. Breathe in and come back. Support your back. Then hold on, last point. Very nice. Hold on. Thank you. Very good for the expectation for the survival and lower back pain. Three, two, one. Please breathe in. Come to the center. Now stretch your pelvic knees and chest raise the upper side. Raise your both hands. Put your both knees together. Again, relax in the chest. Keep your eyes closed. Keep smiling. Breathe in. And deep deep breath out. Now the next practice will be Chashanadasana. So first, open your both knees. First, open your both knees as much as you can. Open your both knees. Both pictures will be together. Attacks between your heels. Now. Spine will be straight. Both hands shoulder pillar, breathe in. Stretch upward side, gaze on the roof. Then place your both hands on the mat. And with continuous gazing on the roof. Slowly, slowly come down with the help of your hands. Slowly, slowly come down. Come down, come down. Don't lift the buttocks upward side. Thigh and thumbs together. And finally touch your chest or chin on the mat and gaze in the front. Stretch your both hands on the front fingers together. Shoulder the gap between your both hands. Your both elbows in the back as much as you can. 
then what you have to come up with can be that closed as I describe. Three, two, one, please. Breathe in, left straight, then right. Stretch up side, breathe out. With the help of your hands, please come to the Vitasana again. Breathe in, then deep it out. Now, release the Vajrasana. So, right and left. First, come into the Vajrasana. Be comfortable in the Vajrasana. And now, be ready for the Vakras, twisting version. So, please come into the Vajrasana first. That will be 90 degree angle. The spine will be straight. Now, place your both hands by the side of your buttocks. Like this. Now, fold the right leg. Just place nearby the left knee. And you can cross with the left knee as well. Now, place the right hand in the back. Just one feet far from your body, one feet far from your, far from your spine. Fingers pointing back. The spine will be straight, and you can take the support of your right hand. Now, breathe in. Raise the left hand up aside. Stretch up aside. And with that duration, twist your body. Then try to put the chin. If you can. If you can't, then you can place your then gaze in the back. But keep your spine straight. Twist your body. Twist your spine. Left knee will be straight. Hold it with normal breath. Or Vakrasada. Well, you can practice for the lower benefit. For the kidneys. For the shoulders. For the hip joints. Very nice. Please. First, neck. Cross hand. Breathe in, stretch upper side. Breathe out and down. Release the back hand. Release the right. Stretch into the last The same practice with the other side. So, for the left one, cross with the right knee. Place the left hand in the back. Breathe in, then raise the right hand upper side. Breathe out. Then cross with the left knee. Then gaze in the back. Then stretch your spine. Don't loosen your spine. Very nice. Hold it. Three, two, one. Please. First, neck. Breathe in. Raise the right hand. Stretch up side. Without and down. Release the left leg. Then right hand. Stretch. The Dandasana. Then please lie down on your abdomen. Please lie down. First come to the Dandasana. Then please lie down on your abdomen. Please lie down. Now, open your both legs, place the right hand on the left shoulder, left hand on the right shoulder, and chin between your crossed hands. Hips inside, toes outside. One out of the breath, breathe in. And you put it down. Now, put your both legs together, both hands by the side of the body, hold it on the ground. Palms with the upper side, fingers together, elbows is straight. The first practice. First practice will be. Vujangasana, Cobra posture. So now, hold your both legs, hands, place the both hands by the side of your chest. Elbows, just close up to your body. Elbows face the upper side. Lift hands close together, knees together. From here, move the foot ready, then lift the forehead, chin, neck, shoulders, and chest. On your, on your, on your, on your back. Last night, Okay, 
If you like the charge of the complex, you cannot again spread the complex fractional body and relaxation of Only by talk of the relax, breathing. Enjoy the relaxation. Smile, breathing. Then we now help the complex together for the last practice, which is Pavanopasana. So now, first, point your complex to the knees. Let's come to the next side. Then lift your sword from the line. Then bring your knees towards the chest. Then make a little lock of your hands. Catch your butt like factors. Toes pointing to the front. Breathe in here. Then take exhalation. Push your knees to the chest first. Then lift the upper part of your body. Then try to touch the chin or forehead of the chest. Then body up the top of the And put it to the top of the table. Nice Next top of the table, then you stretch in your toes, hands, and neck for the other. Excellent question for the entire vascular system. system. Open that first question. I got the right hand questions. Three, two, one. Please breathe in. Squash your head of the ground, reach up the lock, face your body. Pass of the ground, face your soul of the ground, then spread your pockets. Stretch your body. Then relaxation, smile, concentrate on breath, enjoy the shavasana, enjoy, relax your body, complete concentration on breath, focus on the breath, keep your eyes closed, breathe, let it be now. Relaxing. And move out of the breath. Prepare yourself for the pranayams, breathe. Take it without. Now, put your together, complex by the side of the body. Raise the left hand at the side. Please take a left turn and please come to the sitting posture with the help of the complex. Now, come to the table. Keep your spine straight for Sandasana. Then, please, you can sit in any meditative posture. So, for the meditative posture, you can sit in the cross leg posture like this. But, Masan or half of Masan, which is comfortable. Keep your spine so you can sit on the chair as well. You can take the support of the pillow or ball. Both hands in the both hands in the gyanudra. Keep smile on the face for complete concentration. First, anulom below. Only two rounds of the anulom below. First, right hand. Then shankabudra. First two fingers of the right hand to the root of your right hand, up like this, like this, like this. You can see. Then deep in breath out. Keep your eyes closed. Then close the right nostril with right hand. Then slowly and consciously breathe into the blood. For 10 short legs. Consciously. Then close the left nostril. Then consciously breathe out to the right for 20 short legs. Consciously breathe out to the right. Again, breathe into the right. Close the right nostril, then consciously breathe out the flap. Try to maintain the ratio of the one to two. So, exhalation always will be double. After complete exhalation, again breathe with lap. Close the lap, then breathe out the right. Just focus on the breath, complete concentration on the breath. Keep smile and spine straight. Keep it without. Again, breathe in right. Close the right nostril and breathe out the left. Then come to the table. Next practice will be Kapal Bhati. So, for the Kapal Bhati, we will complete only 30 rounds of the Kapal Bhati. We will keep our spine straight. And during the Kapal Bhati, we will just focus on the exhalation. We will try to throw the breath as far as we can. And our shoulders, our elbows will be stable during the practice of the Kapalpati. So spine straight, otherwise all body legs will be comfortable. Keep your eyes closed, then start with Kapalpati exhalation. Start now. Just focus on the exhalation. Throw the breath as far as you can. Don't concentrate on your tummy. Just focus on the exhalation. Throw the breath as far as you can. 
we will count all the outer stops continue till 30 rounds. Keep smile on the face. Keep your smile straight. Relax. No more breath. Keep smile on the face. Next practice will be family. So we are going to practice the family for the three rounds. And what we will do in the family? First, we will breathe in. Then, after completing the headshot, we will close our ears with the thumbs. We will close our eyes with the middle finger. And with the closed eyes, we will try to concentrate on the active on our third eye. With the closed eyes. And we produce the sound of the humming. Like this. And during the sound, you will feel the vibration. And feel the concentration, complete concentration on the sound and vibrations. So spine straight, breathe in deeply. Close your ears and eyes, then concentrate on my catch up, then start the humming. Breathe in. Again, breathe in. Then we discover it. Smile. Concentration on the breath. Stack the cannon. So place the left hand between your four legs, then right up the side. Spine straight. Eyes closed. Breathe in now. Just right here. Try to connect yourself with your breath. Just focus on the breath. Keep your breath out. Now try to focus on your breath, on your vocal states. Just focus on the breath. Try to observe the breathing pattern in which way you are inhaling, in which way you are exhaling. Just observe. Observe the entire breathing trial from your nostrils to the lungs and lungs to the nostrils. Be with yourself. Be with your breath. Be with your breath. Just focus. Just focus on your breath. Focus on your body stress. Now, put your both hands together in the Nishkan foot. Put the Kalyan on foot. To the fluid position. So, breathe deeply for the Kalyan on foot. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Vidrani Pashyantu Vantashchet Dukhar Shanti 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 Shanti
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Now, let's get both hands together. Now, just transfer this energy to forehead, eyes, and head. Oops. Don't rush. Just transfer and feel this energy. Then your chips. Then your hips. And finally, your neck. Thank you so much. Now you can open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining. And I hope you enjoyed the session. Absolutely quick, but now, I'm going to ask you to speak. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dheeraj sir. I now call upon the head of Chancery at the Consulate in Birmingham, Mr. Hitesh Saxena, for the vote of thanks. Thank you, Ms. Anju. Namaste. Yoga for wellness. That is the theme for this year's yoga day. Indeed, a fitting theme for the period we are going through. So let's follow the path of yoga for physical, mental, and spiritual wellness. We've now come to the end of this virtual celebration of 7th International Day of Yoga. On behalf of the Consulate General of India, Birmingham, I wish to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our chief guest, Brahma Kumari Sister Shivani, for finding time from a busy schedule to participate in our program. Council General Dr. Shashank Vikram, Lord Mayor of Liverpool, Councillor Mary Rasmussen, and Chairman Coventry City of Culture Dr. David Burbage for their kind messages. And Dr. Dheera Joshi for the excellent demonstration of common yoga protocol. We hope you like our program. As always, we would like to hear your comments. You may write to us on events.birmingham at mea.gov.in. Thank you and Jai Hind. Thank you, Hitesh, sir. And thank you once again to all the participants and viewers. I'm sure everybody who witnessed the celebration have imbibed best from it. We wish you all a very happy, healthy, enriched, and prosperous life. Thank you. Jai Hind.